you all had a wonderful holiday. Welcome to 2021 and welcome back to Jashley's Kitchen. On today's menu, we are going to make some citrus salmon with avocado salsa, baby tomatoes, and a side salad. So I hope you're ready to start this new year off with a bang. Um, let's go through today's ingredients. I have got about uh, four to five slices of salmon here. You're gonna need some baby potatoes, about a pound or less, your choice. One ripe avocado, one lemon. You'll need about three or four small shallots. Um, olive oil, salt, pepper, crushed red peppers, smoked paprika, regular paprika. Today I'm adding in a can of chickpeas. And for herbs, you'll need oregano and parsley. And another one that I don't have today, as I decide to opt out, is cilantro. So let's get our oven preheated and then we'll start with our potatoes. So let's start off by preheating our oven to 425. Perfect. All right, so now let's head over. So you're gonna rinse your potatoes and cut them in half. When you're done, they'll look like this. Voila, you've got your diced potatoes. Now onto our baking sheet and let's prepare them for the oven. So we're now going to place our potatoes onto our sheet pan. And I'm gonna use chickpeas, but at home you don't have to. So you're gonna add this in on the one half. Chickpeas were rinsed and dried off. So let's drizzle some olive oil. Salt and pepper. And for the chickpeas only, you're gonna add in some of your paprika or smoked paprika. paprika. Okay, now let's give the potatoes and the paprika a good toss. Awesome. All right, so once our oven uh, is preheated, we'll add these in. Now in to the oven, there's those. Good, so now let's set a timer for 20 minutes. And in the meantime, we will get started on our salmon. For the salmon, what you're gonna need for the seasonings um, is some paprika. And you will need about a tablespoon of oregano, a red, crushed red pepper flakes, a pinch of salt and pepper, about a teaspoon of lemon zest, Then you're gonna add in about two tablespoons of olive oil on top. So we just add a bit more lemon zest here. Good. And two tablespoons of olive oil. Okay. Now we just rub that all in, both sides. You can adjust the seasonings always to your preference. Good. All right, so now we're going to just leave this off to the side. So we're going to now take that uh, lemon that we had zested just a bit earlier. So we're gonna save half of it because we're gonna juice and the other portion you're going to just slice the lemon. 
like so. All right, um, and now for the shallots, you're just going to, just gonna demonstrate here, so you're just going to slice them like so. And when you're done, they'll look like this. Ta-da! So here I've got my four shallots uh, sliced. So we're gonna keep these off to the side with the lemon slices. And we've got about eight minutes left on the potatoes. So we're just gonna hang out and wait for that to be done. All right, our potatoes and chickpeas. Ooh. Almost ready. So now for our next step. Let's give these a little toss. All right, and now this is where we're going to add in the salmon to the dish. So I've got this lovely rack here, place that on top. And now I'm going to add in the salmon. If you don't have the salmon rack, all you need to do is just sort of toss the chickpeas and the potatoes to one side of your pan and then the salmon on the other. So now we're going to place some lemon around the dish and those shallots that we had, just kind of place them all around. It's okay if some of them fall. Good. So now we can just add another drizzle of olive oil around the lemon and the onions. Good. Back into the oven they go for another 10 minutes or so. Alright, so in 10 minutes we'll check and see if the salmon is ready. See you soon. While the salmon cooks, we're now going to head into making the avocado salsa. What you'll need is one ripe avocado, uh, which you're going to dice and it will look like this. Bam! Dice avocado, place this off to the side. Next we're going to chop the parsley and if you have um, cilantro, you can also get that ready. So about half a cup of parsley and half a cup of cilantro should be enough. There we go. All right, so let's toss this into the bowl. And then we're going to juice that half of lemon that we had earlier. It's a little too big. So I'm actually going to maybe cut this in half. So it's going to be an approximate three tablespoons of olive oil um, and a pinch of salt. There we go. Let me grab my olive oil. Two, three. Okay. And just toss this around. And keep this off to the side. All right, so we've got about five minutes left on our salmon. Let's start getting our plate ready. All right, our salmon, let's have a look. Ah, looks beautiful. Safely grab this out. All right, so what 
I have here on the plate is some uh, prepared salad. Well, I just kind of mixed in spring mix. There's some uh, tomatoes, cucumber, and radishes. That is optional. Okay, so we're going to add a piece of salmon. Grab some of the red onions for the shallots, place that onto one side. There we go. Uh, now we're going to grab some potatoes. And lastly, you're going to top it off with some of this avocado salsa. Just like that. And there you have it. Your salmon with avocado salsa, baby tomatoes, crispy chickpeas, and a spring salad. Bon appetit!